वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 2.93 सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज़ गिवन दैट टू होल्स दैट हैव बीन ड्रिल्ड थ्रू अ लॉन्ग स्टील बार दैट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू सेंट्रिक लोड एज शोन फॉर पी इज इक्वल टू 6.5 पॉइंट फाइव किब्स डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिम वैल्यू ऑफ स्ट्रेस एट ए एंड एट बी सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ स्टील बार दैट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू लोड पी एंड दिस पी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी फाइव क्लियर and we have been asked to find the maximum value of stress at a and b so what we have to find we have to find maximum stress at point a and maximum stress at point b so let's start with the solution now you can see that due to this load if i draw steel bar and there are two holes one is one one into one by two inch and the other one is only 0.5 inch that is given clear so due to this load p clear there will be stress generated in this uh, steel bar so if i cut this portion so there will be stress concentration and the stress will be maximum at this point and minimum will be at this point clear so this is maximum stress sigma max and this is sigma minimum and we have average stress clear so what we have to do is that we have to find this maximum stress clear okay again you can see that this three this distance is represented as d let this distance is d now the remaining this portion are if you draw a hole so this distance of bar or width is known as d while this portion and this portion it is represented as d by 2 because in tension you have to subtract this hole from this weight d so the, the remaining this portion and this portion will be equal to d and this small d is equal to d by 2 plus d by 2 now we will solve this problem so for a at hole a at hole a so if you take this hole a so you can see that radius will be equal to its diameter is given this is diameter so radius is equal to 1 over 2 divided by 2 which is diameter divided by 2 and that will be equal to 1 over 4 inch clear and this d if it is subjected to tensile load of 65 Kips. So this small d, which is equal to d by two and d by two, is equal to this capital D, this capital D minus d by two minus d by two, or you can say minus simply uh, uh, this d. Ah, uh, uh, sorry, this capital uh, d minus this radius uh, diameter of this hole, and the diameter of this hole is zero point five. Are uh, one over two. Clear. Now this d is equal to three inch. D is equal to three inch. So three minus one over two, which is again equal to two point five zero inch. Now, now we have this d. We have net area. So net area for this hole, our net area for this portion. and this portion will be equal to this d into thickness t and this thickness t is 1 over 2 so 2.50 multiply by this thickness which is 0.5 1 over 2 0.5 is equal to 1.25 square inch now we know that average stress is equal to load 
per unit net area and this load which is given as 65 kips so 65 divided by net area is 1.25 when you calculate it you will get 5.2 ksi okay so due to this load there will be stress concentration at hole a and we know that this stress concentration factor is equal to sigma max divided by sigma average so we have this sigma average we do not know k and we do not know sigma max so for what we have to find k and k will be k can be calculated can be calculated from figure 2.60a in books mechanics of material by baron johnson and this k is equal to 2 into r divided by d we have r r is given as 1 by 4 so 2 into this is 1 by 4 r so 2 into 1 by 4 and we have d which is equal to 3 you can check it this is 3 so d is equal to 3 so you can calculate k is equal to sorry um, uh, not k k can be calculated for k i have made a mistake for find uh, for k can be calculated from this figure and we for finding k we need 2 r over d and 2 r over d after putting the value we get 2 r over d is equal to 0 0.1667 now we will move toward this figure 2.60 and i will show you this is figure 2.60 clear and you can see this is 2 r you know, uh, this is this is 2 r over d and this is k clear and we have the value of 0 0.166 so this is 0 0.15 and this is will be 0 0.16 so it will be if i draw it and it horizontally as well so this is the value of k and from this you can see that value of k is 2.56 near to 2.6 so we will write it k is equal to 2.56 okay now you can check this formula k is equal to sigma max over sigma average so sigma max is equal to k into sigma average where k is 2.56 and sigma average is 5.2 ksi when you multiply it you will get sigma max for whole a is 13.31 ks now we will move toward our second part and that was for whole at whole b at whole b okay again you can check that at hole b we have radius is equal to 1 1 by 2 divided by 2 clear and radius is equal to 1 by 2 into 1.5 because 1 1 by 2 is equal to 1.5 inch clear so radius is equal to this is the diameter and uh, this r is equal to radius is equal to 0 0.75 also we know that uh, this d the remaining portion this d is equal to capital d minus the diameter of this hole so this d is equal to total width was d minus uh, 3 1 minus 1 point the diameter of hole at b so this will give you 1.5 inch okay now what about net area so net area is equal to again you know d into t so for whole b we have d is equal to 1.5 and t is equal to 
1 by 2 which is 0 0.5 and again it will give you 0 0.75 square inch okay now uh, we will move toward finding the average stress so average stress is equal to load per net area for whole b so uh, load was 66.5 k so 6.5 divided by 0 0.75 which will be equal to 8.667 ksi similarly we know that sigma max at point b is equal to k into sigma average where k is the shear, uh, stress concentration factor and k can be find by k can be obtained from figure 20 point sorry 2.60a for k we must need 2r over d so we have 2r is 0 0.75 inch 2 into 0 0.75 divided by d is equal to 1 uh, d was 3 d is the total weight clear so we have this 0 0.5 now we will move again we will move toward table and you can check it 0 0.5 2r divided by 3 0 0.5 and what if i move this is 0 0.3 and we have the value we have this value so if you project it on the this side so you will get this k is equal to 2.16 i will write it k is equal to k is equal to 2.16 now you have this k you can put it in this formula so sigma max at point b is equal to 2.16 multiply by sigma average which is this 8.667 ksi so sigma max at point at hole b comes out to be 18.72 ksi so this is my last answer again this is very simple problem uh, if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching